hello hello welcome back to my channel my name is Amelie if you guys are new here today's vlog we're back in my favorite place ever with my favorite people we are in Santa Barbara for the weekend I'm here with my boyfriend and then I also met up one of my best friends because she is dating his roommate so it just works out perfectly all four of us are here we slept in today so it's around like 11 I think we just got all ready to go to the beach we're gonna go get some bagels some coffee and then it's supposed to be like 70 degrees today so we're really gonna take advantage of that look at this view right now. It's so pretty. <laughs> Yay! Guys, it was a month that we didn't see each other. That was longer. No, it was a month, like no. exactly. Oh, really? It was rough. But yay, we're back. Happy oh. SV. Yes! Beach day. Here, check in the messy room. We're all ready. Yes. It's breakfast time, coffee time, and then beach time. Love it. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so new, so I can find myself Guys, we are their camera woman, look at this Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky It's been a while. What time is it? I don't know, 3.30 maybe? We just left the beach. It's just me and Grant now. Sarah and Julian had to leave early because Julian had work. Sorry if I'm out of breath. We literally just had to climb up so many stairs to get back from the beach, but I don't know. I feel like I got a little color, but it was literally the perfect weather. And there was this super cute dog that would not leave us alone. And he kept coming back. He kept coming to us and playing fetch with us. And it was really cute. So now, do you want to go look at Ivy? Yeah, sure. Okay, so now me and Grant are like really thirsty. So I think we're going to go to McDonald's, get a Diet Coke, and then but when I'm filming this, UCSB decisions are coming out next week. So I figured while I'm here, let's manifest getting in and go kind of tour the campus and just like see the area. So we have the whole day ahead of us, so we're gonna go do that, get some drinks, and then we'll catch you guys later when we're doing something different. Yeah. That's so crisp. Oh. Got an Oreo McFlurry. Busted. and some medium fries free with the app and you could dip the fries in the McFlurry if you're feeling like it. Okay, taste test. Can I bite? Bless mm. Bless Do you have that or the shamrock shake? Yes. Okay, see, I'm personally a mint person so I'd do the shamrock shake. Comment down below if you're a mint or regular Oreo. Oh, wait, what's the shamrock trick? Mint Oreo? Mint Oreo. Oh, yeah, shamrock trick. Oh, then never. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. We just got back into Grant's apartment. I'm currently snacking on this bag of popcorners. I love these. These are, like, actually one of my favorite snacks. And I wanted to show you guys really quick. This is the book that I'm reading. It's called The Mountain Is You. I've heard about it from so many people and I love it. I'm only like one chapter in, but it really talks about self-sabotage and just like how we prevent ourselves from living the lives of our dreams and achieving our goals. And it's really eye-opening and it's just making me think really differently and I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys are looking for a book or you just struggle with that, I would definitely recommend that book. We just got back from touring UCSB. We walked around a little bit. We went to Isla Vista, saw the main campus, and then like the kind of downtown area. I'm gonna eat this, and we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. 
we just got back so we just want to chill for a little and then we're gonna try to go see sunset i think but today has just been a beautiful day the weather is amazing and it just felt so good to be in a bikini again because it's been way too long so that's a little update catch you guys later it's seven o'clock sunsets at 7 30. we decided we're gonna go get dinner and go watch the sunset i just threw on this puffer and then i'm wearing the same white tube top and linen pants that i was wearing earlier this is my favorite puffer ever ignore the dirty mirror but it's from h m and then these pants are from Bershka, Berksha, I always forget how to say it, but this is literally the best puffer ever. But look how pretty! Do you wanna give him a fit check? <laughs> I got, you got the... Nashville, Everyone's gonna think I'm dating a weirdo. But I, but I am dating a <laughs> 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 Cause I find my way, my way, my way, my way, my way. We just got dinner. We're parked in front of the pier. Did I get this really stuck or did you? Oh, that was me. <laughs> Bro, I can't even Show blow them. it out. We got Hannah's Kitchen, which is my favorite place in Santa Barbara. We got boba and, and look at this. It's so good. It's teriyaki chicken or, yeah. Yeah, it's like. Oh. It's like teriyaki chicken and vegetables, and it's so yummy. So we're gonna eat this, sit in front of the pier, and then play the rest of the night by ear. Probably go home, watch something, TBD, but it's so good. Wait, let's do a taste test, first bite. Bro, look how many forks they gave me. Did no, you I do didn't. That? <laughs> so, um, look at, we need them for the house. He grabbed so many <laughs> forks. I thought they did that. No, it's a struggle. Did you grab one? Here, doing a taste test for them. She gets no rice. Oh, they gave her rice. No, they, no, they didn't. didn't. She gets no rice, like a little. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mm. So good. Okay. Always begging. So good. We're gonna eat this and we'll catch you later. Good morning. I know I didn't really vlog last night, but. After we ate dinner, we just came home and we went to sleep because today we tried to wake up early and we did pretty good. It's 10 a.m. We woke up at like 8.30. We're driving to a coffee shop because I have some work to do, he has some homework to do, and then, like I said, today is the day that he has his whole like EMT thing where he's gonna be gone from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So today is like my kind of solo day and then also Sarah's boyfriend Julian has work so we're gonna go to the beach and go shopping and stuff but first coffee and work because both of the boys are at work. Yes, working men. Yes, or well, one's working, one's doing EMT. And it's a little bit chilly, but the UV is six, so anything for some sun. Yes. Um, beach. This is the view. It's like our own private beach. Yes. We're probably gonna lay here for like an hour and a half, and then we're gonna go shopping. So it's gonna be literally the perfect day. Yep. And then, yeah, like I said, Grant doesn't get back till 12 a.m. So today is just gonna be a little girls' day slash solo day. day. SB day. Yeah. We just finished tanning. It was really nice. And now. Very pretty out. Yeah, it was perfect. And now we are out on the town. I just did the best parallel parking I think I've ever done. Yes. And we just discovered this little like thrift market. So we're gonna go explore. Look at that. And potentially do some damage. We'll keep you updated. All right, we just got back from shopping. We stopped at Starbucks. What'd you get? I just got a refresher, the typical, no strawberries. 
And I got my iced passion tango tea with stevia. Yes. And then shopping always makes me so hungry. So I got a little sandwich. And I got a cookie that I already yeah. demolished. <laughs> and okay, we weren't that successful. I got something because I've just like really been loving like comfy pajama shorts. All over my TikTok, I've been seeing that like pinstripes are going to be in the spring and summer. So Sarah actually Yay. found these for me. So I cute. got these like light blue pinstripe ones from Brandy and this is good because like I feel like I could wear these as pajamas or as like an outfit so that's what we got kind of got cold out of nowhere so Very that's cold. why we're eating in the car we're gonna eat hang out it's like what time is it it is 5 37 5 37 Julian her boyfriend gets out at 6 and then I don't know what I'm gonna do but <laughs> probably go on a run or something yes. I told myself I would work out today not really feeling it but we'll see what we do Check Bye. <laughs> this is us rotting in bed after shopping. Did Julian get extended his shift? Yeah, it's already seven, so we have no idea. Yeah, so Julian's shift got extended, so we're both like alone and we don't know what to do with the rest of our night. <gasps> this is me eating a rice cake, trying to convince myself to go on a run because I know I'll feel better after. But I'm really cozy right now in my sweats. <laughs> but we're gonna go. But first, I'm gonna eat this. And I'm gonna go, it's like sunset right now. Or it's about to be sunset. So I know it'll be a really pretty run. I'm gonna eat this and then let's go. actually having the most enjoyable run ever. Is it easy? No. But I just saw the most beautiful sunrise and I'm just feeling so grateful to be able to be moving my body right now in this beautiful place and I almost didn't go. I almost skipped my run today because I was lazy. So this is your sign. Go on the run, move your body, and surround yourself with people that push you to be your best self because Sarah pushed me. She was like Amelie. You know yourself, you know you're gonna feel so much better after you run, just go. So I went and I feel amazing. I didn't force myself to do a crazy long run, I only did two miles. I gave myself permission to take walk breaks if I need it and just enjoy the view. But sometimes running and stuff like that, it's not about being your most productive self and having the hardest workout ever. Sometimes it's about moving your body and appreciating life. So this is your sign, don't skip your workout. Hi guys, it's actually a few days later, but I feel like this clip is the perfect time for me to talk about my favorite athletic wear because Gymshark is actually the sponsor of today's video. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know that I love Gymshark, so I feel like I don't even need to say how much I love them and explain the quality of their active wear. But for anyone who doesn't know, Gymshark has truly supported me through my fitness journey. They have been my go-to active wear for going on four years. And something about me is if I love something, I'm gonna get it in another color. So in the clip you're either about to watch or you just watched, you saw that I was wearing this sports bra in a green. Literally the most flattering sports bra ever. I love backless sports bras and Gymshark just does it so well. These shorts are also from Gymshark. These are the Vital Seamless 2.0 shorts. Seriously my go-to from them. Going back to the topic of sports bras. If I love it, I'm gonna get it in another color. So here's the black one. Here is the green one that you're about to see in the next clip or you already saw. I also have one in this beautiful like light gray white color. And then my newest addition to my Gymshark minimal sports bra collection is this like beautiful kind of auburn brown color. And what I love so much about these sports bras you guys is that they come with these three straps. So if you feel like you need more support or you like the back detail, you can keep them on but they also have these clips right here that you can take them off, which is what I did for this one. And then I actually cut mine to make it even tighter if you just want like a little bit more support. These are seriously my favorite sports bras from Gymshark. I clearly love them because I have four of them and 
anytime I see a new color, I feel like I have to get it. So I feel like if my collection of their sports bras and shorts doesn't say enough about how much I love them, I don't know what else will. The only thing I will say about the sports bra is it's definitely for people with less going on up here. So if you're someone who needs more support in their sports bras, Gymshark has so many other great supportive sports bras for you. So if you're like me and you have a smaller chest, this is definitely gonna be your sports bra. And if you're not, don't worry because Gymshark has an amazing collection on their site. And then shorts, same level of quality. I love them, they're my go-to. Always so flattering. Gymshark is sponsoring today's video and they were kind enough to give me a code for you guys to use. So if you guys wanna be twinning with me or just get anything from their site, you guys can use code Amelie 10 for 10% off their entire site. It supports me, it supports you because there is nothing more motivating than a new workout set and it supports them. So feel free to use that code. Gymshark, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. It's seriously a dream. So this is your sign. Go treat yourself to some Gymshark because you've been working hard. You deserve a new workout set. And with that, let's get back into today's vlog. Good morning, you guys. It is 10 a.m. We kind of fell off vlogging, but we just got coffee. I need to like mix this. Tell them what you got and give them your rating. <laughs> Iced caramel macchiato. Never tried a macchiato before. I give it a one out of 10. Yeah, we're not a fan. Um, and then I got my usual iced almond milk latte. 10 out of 10 per usual. And the plan for today is to go on a waterfall hike. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know how far we're gonna go, but we decided to be productive this morning because this morning is also, unfortunately, the day that I leave. But it's okay because he's coming back, like literally next week for spring break, so it's fine. But yeah, we're gonna drink this and then we're gonna go on a hike. I just said bye to Grant. Guys, that was actually such a fun hike. I think it was around like four miles and it had like this beautiful viewpoint. There was also like this creek and then Grant decided to jump into it and it was just so fun. And then as a little reward, we went and got donut holes and McDonald's. And you guys know it's all about balance. So a little hike, some donuts, no better way to live life. So now that we're all fueled up, we are going to start the drive back. It's about like four and a half hours, I think. It shouldn't be too bad. Not really looking forward to it though. I don't really like driving, especially alone, but it's okay. I'll put on some good music, put on a podcast, we'll have fun. I'm gonna just take you guys with me for the fun of it. That way I don't feel like I'm entirely alone and I'll pick up the camera every time I stop and just give you guys like a little update because that way I feel like we're doing this together and I'm not doing this entirely alone. Let's see what map says. Okay, wait, four hours and 14 minutes. There's no traffic. That's basically just two two hour drives, Starting so. To Proceed to the route. We got then this. Got my Diet Coke, change into comfy clothes. Everything is packed up in my car. I'm gonna start driving and I will catch you guys in a few hours. I must have been wrong. Cause your love is strong for We're an hour and a half in, just made my first pit stop. I almost did not make it to the bathroom. When I tell you I was sprinting through Trader Joe's trying to find the bathroom, like I actually almost had an accident but we didn't we made it and I also got some carrots because for long drives like to just make sure that I'm like staying stimulated I like to have some sort of snack that I can just like continuously eat non-stop and I also of course try to take my fitness goals and just health goals into consideration so carrots are usually my road trip go-to because like I mean it's great for you they're vegetables I can eat this whole bag and feel amazing so that's what I got and then I also got Two of my favorite protein bars ever. I love Bear Bells. I got the chocolate cookie dough and salty peanut. I'm not sure which one I'm going to eat. I think I'm feeling the salty peanut right now. And then maybe I'll eat this later or whatever, but I couldn't decide between the two. But yeah, we're an hour and a half in, like three hours to go, I think. Maybe a little under three hours. So far feeling good. Music has been musicking. The weather is great. Last time I did this drive, guys, the weather was awful. Like, it was so bad. So I'm very happy that we are having good weather. And I'm gonna try to get this done. I don't wanna take too many stops. Also, 
Trader Joe's carrots, hands down, best carrots out there. Why would it not be? He's always there for you. It's been a while since I've picked up the camera. I was a bad vlogger, but I stopped one more time. I got another snack, filled up gas, and cleaned off my windshield, and then we made it home. I was pretty quick with it. I think it took me like five, five and a half hours, so... Very good drive, very smooth, no problems along the way. I'm feeling very grateful to be home safe in my bed. Long drives alone kind of freak me out sometimes and I get in my head, so I'm just grateful to be home and safe. I came home, I made myself some dinner, I made protein pancakes, and then I was still hungry, so I had some Greek yogurt with granola and a bunch of chocolate chips in it, and it was so delicious, and then I did my skincare. Now I'm already for bed, I'm exhausted, I'm so tired, and it's like 10 p.m. right now, so we're gonna get plenty of sleep and get ready to start a new week tomorrow. Usually Sundays are like a big reset day for me, and obviously I did not get to do that today, so I'm definitely going into the week feeling a little bit unprepared, but that's okay. We're just gonna take it one day at a time, start the morning with movement tomorrow, and get back on track. This was honestly just such an amazing weekend, and I'm so grateful that I got to share it with you guys and just take you through my weekend. I hope that this is a good example of how I practice balance in my life and just prioritize the people that I love the most. So grateful to have gotten to spend this weekend in Santa Barbara with Grant, Sarah, Julian, just everyone. Really, it just revived me. That was exactly what I needed. A break, some sunlight, some movement, some McDonald's and donut holes, and some beautiful sunsets. So I'm just feeling super grateful, ready to start the new week. I love you guys so much. Also, make sure you're following all of my other social media platforms because it's just the best way to stay connected with me. I post every single day on there, and if you reach out to me, I promise I will get back to you because every day when I do my cardio, I check my DMs and I make sure to respond. So I love you guys so much. Like and subscribe because it helps me more than you know, and with that, I will see you in the next one. Ah!